Alex, you, you formed the Save Our Trees group and you're here supporting Richard. Can you tell us a little bit about the Save Our Trees group and what you've been trying to achieve over the years? Well, basically we're just a very loose network of residents. We started um, mainly in the western suburbs, but uh, we soon realised that we have support from people in, in many suburbs throughout the state. And, uh, and that the, the issue of um, our disappearing urban trees was, was actually quite a, 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 you know, a big issue. So um, we, we decided to, uh, to prepare a, a, a petition. This was in 2006. It was tabled into 2006. And that petition called for the uh, protection of, of our mature trees on public land in urban areas. It did ask for a moratorium. Uh, that was ignored. Uh, what the Standing Committee on Environment and Public Affairs recommended was that a model tree policy be prepared for the protection of our trees. But really nothing has happened. We've had a change of government and the uh, new local government minister actually said that there was no need for that model tree policy, that the councils were somehow dealing with this um, through their own tree policies. But that's not the case and clearly uh, Richard wouldn't be in this tree now if we had protection for our urban trees. And that's all we're asking for, is to protect our, our big trees, our urban trees on public land, because they're doing a good job regardless of what the species is, uh, whether they're native or not native. I mean, some people love natives and we all, you know, we all love natives, but regardless of what the tree is, it is doing a good job in the environment and we need them for all sorts of reasons that most people know. And it makes no sense whatsoever to be having our councils going through and destroying our living trees. They're not dead or dying trees and they've been proven now by independent arboriculturalists to be um, perfectly healthy. I mean, some of them, all they need is a, is a little bit of pruning. Uh, so why on earth would our councils be going through and destroying so many healthy living trees? That, that really must stop. So hopefully what Richard's doing here will lead to the City of Gosnells reassessing its tree policy and be a positive example for other councils. Well, I think so. I mean, I know that there are people who are concerned about the action he's taking in that they feel that it is illegal and that if everyone were to do that, uh, you know, what would happen? I can see that argument, but at the same time, people are really frustrated. Not everyone has the courage to spend 50 or 60 days living in a tree, but a lot of people have empathy for what he's doing. And, and that's why I'm here today, because as I said before, he wouldn't have to have inconvenienced himself in this way. I mean, he has had a lot of support, but at the same time he has had to suffer people going past and abusing him. I would not like to be in his position, so I do um, value the work that he's doing. So it's, it has brought it all to a head, and I think our state and local councils need to pay attention to this, because he's not alone. A lot of us think that there is something bizarre in so many of our trees. I mean, there are thousands that have been removed, and they will continue to remove them if we don't have laws to protect them. So yep. we have our third petition now. It's on our website. Now, what's the address of your website? It's, I don't think um, it'll show up on the camera. Okay, it's www.saveourtrees.net. Beautiful. And just to close off, there's one person here who obviously loves living in trees and of course these trees provide all these wonderful birds with their own source of food and habitat. Oh absolutely, there are so many, so many reasons why these trees should not be chopped down. So I don't need to preach to be a converted but it's basic knowledge that trees produce our oxygen and we need oxygen, they filter pollution, we need that in an urban environment, they produce shade for people walking, they produce habitat for our wildlife. So I don't need to say any more than that.
Oh, even the school kids can explain it to the exactly. counsellors. Exactly. Our, our primary school children can tell that the, the counsellors that. And you saw the example of that at Lath Lane Primary School, where the, the uh, authorities went through man. and ruthlessly destroyed, I think in the order of 15 trees, I can't remember exactly, and there were children crying there. It was a, an absolute disgrace hey, did you to see do that come from a tree like this? A good strong tree. Thanks for your time this morning, Alex. Thank you. A good, Thank strong you. Tree.